Hello my friend, it's Matt Skinner here and today I'm going to speak to you about ego. So many of us have an issue with ego. Our issue is, is that we are so programmed in the thinking that we must be better, that we must be, you know, different than other people. And this separation that has been created because of ego has separated us from the true beings that we're here to be. Now, most people have probably never talked to you this way. Most people have never really explained to you in this way. Now, I know there's a lot of people watching this video that have seen and do know exactly what I'm talking about. But unfortunately, there's more of us that do not know about conscious level of thinking. And our conscious level of thinking dictates everything that we manifest in our life. If you want to have happiness and you want to have excitement and you want to have true meaning in your life, you can create that. If you want to live in misery and you want to be upset about every situation that comes upon you and how you are constantly a victim, then, well, you always be a victim. I'm sharing this message today because I want you to understand that ego has separated us from our true, true meaning of what we're supposed to be here for. I mean, have you ever looked out into space? Have you ever looked out into, you know, the distance and, and, and just felt nature? Experienced nature from a, from a deeper point of view? Because so many people really kind of just go through life in motions and they don't really realize that we are connected to this earth more than most people are. We are truly connected to the earth in a way that most people don't even understand because if you were to understand how connected we are and you were to see how connected we are, then there would be no reason for ego because we would all know that we're exactly the same. We would all know that there's no separation, there's no colors, there's no religions, there's no races, there's, no, there's nothing. There's none of that because as soon as you strip out ego, everybody lives in harmony. I mean, think about it. I mean, think about it. If I didn't have ego, if you didn't have ego, if we all didn't have ego, we would be able to live in harmony with each other. There wouldn't be wars. There wouldn't be fights. I mean, ego is the whole reason why fights and wars break out. I mean, it's not like we want to go blow up a country because, you know, we're having a good day. No, it's our ego that says we want more. We want more power. And it's a shame that power has become such destructive, destructive emotion that, that people experience, that people have to attain, like they must overpower you and that's how they control you and run your life and, you know, it's, it's just, it's all hogwash to be honest with you. In all complete honesty, you have the opportunity to have true human potential that is far beyond anything that we've ever experienced. And that true human potential comes from within by making choices, by making the correct choices in your mind. Because yeah, your mind might be thinking, you know, yeah, I want to make this thought or, you know, when, it, when, when, when this certain situation is going on, you might be thinking, okay, right now, this is what I'd normally do. This is the re active response that I would normally give. But instead you pull back you pull back to a different place that allows you to have a conscious level of thinking where you can ask yourself does this serve me? does this serve my being to take this person or this negative energy in whether it's a paradigm of a situation that you saw in the news or whether it's a person that you come in contact with on a regular basis or it's just somebody that you see on random that is seeming to always have a negative day one thing I like to do with people that I catch that are having a not so good day is I like to enlighten them and I like to remind them that truly we are going to be able to make and design whatever we want in our lives and that we have the ability to create happiness and we have the ability to create unhappiness. So I wanted to share this message with you today and it was about how allowing your ego to be let go by letting go of your ego you will find that you can have true happiness because even though your ego might be attached to power when that ego is attached to power you will eventually have a fallout because all power 
eventually has the rug pulled out from underneath him, if you will. So I thank you for listening to this video today. I would appreciate it if you would leave a comment and let me know what you thought about the video, just so I can get more insight on different types of videos and different types of things you would like to hear about. I thank you once again for coming here today. Have a great day. Bye-bye.